Hi everyone! It's me again, Waini Butai, and together with me is my friend, Mimi. For today's video, we will be discussing and demonstrating to you how to do the tourniquet test and how to do the palpation of the pulses, which includes palpation of the carotid, apical, brachial, radial, femoral, popliteal, posterior tibial, and the dorsalis pedis pulses. In counting the pulses, we should note that we should count the pulses in one full minute and we need to make sure that the child is rested and not affected by any activity. Carotid pulses is located near the upper neck between the external cleidomastoid and the trachea, roughly at the level of the cricoid cartilage here. For the apical pulses, for less than 7 years old, it is located at the 4th ICS left mid clavicular line. And for more than 7 years old, it is located at the 5th ICS left mid clavicular line here. Brachial pulses is located by filling the biceps tendon in the area of the antecubital fossa. Then move the pads of your three fingers medial from the tendon and about 2 to 3 centimeters above the antecubital fossa, the pulses are located here. For radial pulses, it lies superficially in front of the distal end of the radius between the tendons of the brachial radialis and the flexor carpi radialis here. Femoral pulses is located on the inner thigh at the mid inguinal point, halfway between the symphysis pubis and the anterior superior iliac spine here. Popliteal pulses is located below the surface of the knee here. The posterior tibial pulse is located between the posterior border of the medial malleolus and the achillas tendon here. And lastly, the dorsalis pedis pulses, which is located lateral to the extensor hallucis longus tendon here. Tourniquet test is part of the new definition of WHO for dengue. It is a test marker for capillary fragility and it is also used as a triage tool to differentiate patients from those who have acute gastroenteritis and dengue. If a tourniquet test was previously done, you should repeat it if the test was previously negative or those who have no manifestation of bleeding. For a tourniquet test, first we take the patient's blood pressure and record it. The PP is 100 over 70. Then we will compute the midway between the systolic blood pressure and the diastolic blood pressure. For example, 100 plus 70 divided by 2 is 85 mmHg. So we must make weight first before inflating the cuff again. Then now we inflate the BP cuff to 85 mmHg for 2 minutes. Then after 2 minutes, count for the number of petechae below the antecubital fossa. Then a positive test is 10 or more petechae per 1 square inch. And there you have it guys. I hope you have learned how to do the tourniquet test and how to get the pulses through the carotid, apical, brachial, radial, femoral, popliteal, the posterior tibial, and the dorsalis pedis pulses. See you again next week. Bye!